recording a new test case okay so when i start recording a new test case okay record start recording now it is waiting okay now i go here now i type http colon slash slash www dot google dot com okay i do that now it tries to get the web page over here now i click this advanced search link okay then i go here and then type um, hello okay hello and then i try to choose 20 results okay now i am just clicking done okay now what you see here is if i say uh, paste to editor right when i paste to editor along with this window declarations right it shows as test case 3 now i am going up up in this one instead of saying windows it is saying this uh, go to the about microsoft internet explorer right then in that combo box you are setting the text to google.com then you are typing the keys enter right then in some places i made a click it is saying 1 comma 808 comma 183 something like that it didn't say on the text box on the link click on the text box type hello on the but on the list box do something it is using something like internet explorer server 1 something like that if you want to do something with the browser the first thing that you need to do is right you have to go to this uh, options extensions okay when you go to option extensions right now when I, I just open the option extension it takes some time to open the box look here all these extensions are disabled so it is not recording properly right so what you need to do is either you can do this way or there is one other way now I see right now everything is disabled now I click cancel of this now I go to tools enable extensions I click enable extensions the moment I click enable extensions right it is showing me into all the open windows okay it shows me all the open windows right automatically determines what is the extension depending upon the technology now let me click on this about Microsoft Internet Explorer okay I say select it asks me whether it's a DOM or virtual object I say DOM the data object model that is one of the standard things I say click OK now I have enabled it now just watch I go to okay now it is saying restart your application to complete the configuration right now let me just close this group now I just close this one now if you go here for example if you go to the options and then extensions look here automatically internet it, it determined you have tried to enable the extension for Internet Explorer once this is done now let me go to Internet Explorer let us try to record once again just watch this time you will see a different way of recording okay now I have opened this application okay now what I am going to do is go to silk test record a new test case okay start I go to the Internet Explorer okay HTTP colon slash slash oh sorry www.google.com okay I click that it is taking some time but let it come back with the results 
now I click advanced search right now I go and then type uh, same hello over here hello okay then I go here and then choose 30 results okay now I say advanced search right now I am clicking this done button okay let the script come back I'll show you the difference. You will see a, dis a total difference between the previous way of recording and this way of recording. Paste to the editor. Now watch. You will see a difference between the way it recorded before enabling the extension and after enabling the extension. So before enabling the extension, it was showing something like Internet Server, Explorer Server, something like that. But now, once you enabled the extension, look here browser.location.setText, that text one. Google.advancedSearch.click. All these words set text H hello. Advanced search page, results per page, select 30 results. Advanced search push button, click. Look at the difference between the way it generated the script. So in browser, you don't have to do any additional thing. Only thing is extend that. You have to include the extensions. That's all. Once you enable the extensions, automatically the recording will come properly. Apart from that, you don't have to do any specific precautions. Someone has asked, we can directly add objects to script test without recording, so we can directly write script. Yes, you can very well do. After all, it's all coding, right? But my advice always is, if you start hand typing everything, you take more time. If you do recording, you take less time. Half of the test is test the steps. Rest of them is get and verify command. So at least half of that, instead of manually writing it code, do it by recording. It will minimize your time. Right? Someone has asked, uh, like QTP, don't we have a descriptive script? Again, uh, descriptive programming is again another myth. Again, it is my advice to most of the, most of the people. Descriptive programming is uh, one of the myths. It is requiring more of hand coding. So it is discouraged by even uh, many people. Right? You may have the happiness of, oh, I write more code. But the more you write, the more mistakes you make. If you are able to use object repositories, in QTP or frame.ink in silk test and then use the built-in methods that is the better way than doing descriptive programming. Someone has asked can we uh, run the test cases using Firefox browser? Yes, very much. Again for that you need to enable the extensions. Any other questions for the day? Someone has asked when this webinar will be online in the recorded mode. Um, Hopefully by this weekend it should be available because last week we have uh, done uh, almost three webinars. This week also we will be able to put uh, MySQL, Java, Perl as well as this over the weekend because the uploading time it, it requires uh, some amount of time. Someone has asked what is the command to do invoking of applications. For example, uh, again, you have to do a lot of study on the help file. Okay, I want to start a browser. Okay, If you want to start a browser, there are a lot of ways that you can do. Right? Again, you can see there is something like uh, functions which are available. Okay, Application state control functions. Okay, I want to uh, 
set the browser type right what type of browser you are going to do right i want to start a new application so there are a lot of uh, information on functions available over here in the help so you can you can simply say use you have to read this and then try it out as a single thing or as a very very crude way of learning right okay it says browser suppose you don't want to go through the help file right the simplest way is what is there in the browser class i just put that put a dot if i put a dot then i go there and i put yes it is saying uh, stop browser dot start right so there is something called start application function or right or if i type try to say invo i what is there in that i function you can always say uh, invoke start or invoke these commands are available but only thing is you need to do a lot of study on the help file try out command by command that will help a lot someone has asked uh, get item count verify enabled are they properties a yeah, property is a simple thing properties a yeah, property return something to the left hand side that means you should give a variable same way a yeah, get command return something to left hand side it's like this a equal to f of x it is like a get command or property whereas a verify command verify command does not have lhs left hand side it needs an expected value that's all the expected versus actual it will compare that's the difference between a get command and verify okay good we are coming to the closure of uh, this webinar and uh, thanks a lot for all of you some person has why companies are going for qtp rather than silk again it is up, up to the company uh, why people are using dotnet rather than java why people are using mysql versus oracle it's a company's choice and the client's choice they may like different features in different tools which may be suitable for their work it's not that all should use only one tool there are multiple tools in the world qtp uh, rational robot rational functional tester winrunner test complete silk test qa run lot of tools are available is the client comfort level and the features that are supported for that project that's the only thing right thanks a lot uh we'll meet soon these webinar sessions will be uh, uploaded to the website or the